Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Slipjoint Sawyer here. So today we're going to be taking a look at an old timer knife. So we'll have a quick look at the box. You've got the big old timer logo there. And you can see it is a Battenfield product. So this is a Chinese made old timer. Old timer again on the back. And then we have the model number is 280OT. And that is the old timer Barlow. Barcode there. And it still has the older style model number, you know, the 280 and then the OT for old timer. So inside the box, it's just a really real simple box. Just a normal sort of cardboard box. And inside there, there's a little bit of parchment paper it came wrapped in. And then the date of manufacture, which is 0721. So have a quick look at the knife. So here it is. This is the old timer Barlow. You can see it still has the old uh, hot dog shield. I know they are updating these now to a more modern hexagonal shield, which is, if I show you the box there, if you see the hexagonal there with the old timer, it's more like that. So you can see it's a pin construction and it has this really nice Delrin, saw cut Delrin. Nice texturing on there. Smooth pins, I do have the classic old timer sort of raised middle pins just as that's how they hold it together with construction. I have this sort of nickel silver bolster, sort of made to look a little bit like brass, like that like, like goldy colouring, with shred there stamped in. Really nice design. Back springs, really good. Tiny little gap here, but for the price I paid to this, I paid £15 in the UK. And then it was, I think it was about £17 to have it delivered. And for that price, I'm not going to be complaining about the tiniest of gaps in the back spring, especially when the, the quality of the knife itself, the, I mean, it's fantastic. Rear of the knife, same nice Delrin. You have like the fade out into the lighter caramel colour. Get a bit of a closer up there of the texture. Really, really nice. I do like Delrin on knives. And then, of course, you have that same bolster with the shade stamped in. Really well constructed. Blade centering. Yeah, not not dead on, but is it touching? No, so doesn't bother me at all. Try and get a better look for you there. Again, aerial view. And one of the good things about this knife, which I do prefer to the Rough Rider Barlows, is the access you get to the nail neck. So you can see there's plenty of access to the pen blade and then you can really easily get to the clip point at the back and it, the blade is still tucked in in the liners. Brass liners, steel pins, really well built. Like for the for the money I paid for this, fifteen pounds. I think it's fantastic. So thank you, John at Thrifty Kniffy, for recommending me this knife. It is it's definitely worth the money. And I think as well for anyone that's trying to get into traditional knives or they're starting to take your fancy, if you're a modern guy or you like locking knives, these sorts of the cheaper old timers. Um, Uncle Henry's trade knives are definitely where you should start and you can pay not a lot and get a lot of knife for it especially with the Rough Riders as well so we'll take a quick look at the blades so we'll have the pen blade first nice snap on that no half stop so it's a cam tang nice little pen blade there really nice grind nice and even on both sides a little bit shallow at the end here but still nice and sharp you have the Schrade tang stamp there and then nice and clean on the rear. And when I say cam tang, I mean like no half stop, so it doesn't, there's no sort of stop, it just goes all the way around. But as you can hear, the, the snap on this little blade is, is excellent. It's, it's definitely a seven pull all the way around. Nice snap down. Clip point blade, exactly the same. Nice walk and talk. Definitely a seven pull. And you can tell it's a nice sort of budget working man's knife, no swedges or mat strike nail nicks, just a nice simple clip point blade. Really nice satin finish, nice edge both sides. Bring that up closer for you to see. Really, really, really nice. And there we have the Schrade tang stamp. And then the model number on the rear, so you've got 280 and then OT for old timer. Really well made knife, especially for the money. Don't be expecting perfect for £15. You can see 
Um, some of the sort of sanding is not even all the way around the top. There is a few, not like flat spots, but it's quite hard to show. It's better there where you can see it's sort of been sanded off a bit too much here. But I'm going to be using this as a work knife, so it's just going to be thrown in my pocket. No slip carry. It's going to be doing dirty jobs. It's going to be in the garden and it'll do every job, every task I ask of it. It's got 7CR steel on it, not the highest steel, but still a really capable, still a really capable quality. Reasonable edge retention. I, I just really like the old timer clip point. I think it's the simplicity of just nothing fancy about it, just a nail nick and a clip point. You know, it reminds me of a sort of like an Arthur Wright clip point. It's just, it is what it says on the tin really. It's just, it's just a clip point, nice working man's knife. Didn't need to clean this out at all like you do with some Rough Riders. I just put a little tiny bit of my Kersher oil. I just put like to put a little couple of dots on this side of the knife and then I just work it like that and it's nice and smooth. No sort of stiff spots at all. So there we go guys. My review of the old timer Barlow made by Schrade, Bat on the Field company made in China. Excellent budget knife, really do, couldn't recommend this enough to anyone. Been carrying it all day today and I think I'll be carrying it again tomorrow just so I can get a bit more use out of it, because I do really enjoy it. So there you go guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. Please also make sure you go and check out the Slippy and Thrifty show. Put the first episode out this morning for UK and it would have been early hours of US for US on Thrifty Kniffy's channel, just here. Make sure you check it out. It's it's a light-hearted sort of fun sort of show. We, no sort of insulting channels or anything. We just we just want to have fun. Um, we take the mitt. We're going to be taking like an in-depth look at our own reviews as well as some other people's, and we'll just see how it catches on. So if you fancy giving that a watch, go and check it out. But thanks again for watching. Peace out.